Yeah. 2021 KTM. <laughs> the rally replica. Yeah, it's got some pretty good buzz, some pretty good news. Uh, pretty neat, but at the end of the day, is it really a Dakar racing rally bike? We're gonna get into it next. What's going on? Happy Friday, everybody. Hopefully, everybody's having a pretty good day today. Um, hopefully, your week was good. Uh, mine was okay, uh, but you know what? It is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't, and we do the best we can with the world we live in today. Um, let's see. Yeah, the KTM 2021 rally replica we're going to talk about that here in just a few seconds and um if this is your first time ever to the channel do not forget make sure you hit that subscribe button smash it now give us a thumbs up make sure you hit that bell so that you're part of it and uh, don't forget if you follow our podcast we do have a podcast uh, usually every sunday it depends on what's going on in my world i have a real life other than just motorcycles and uh, but our podcast is kind of fun, and we got a special guest coming on, Mr. Chip Monahan, and it's going to be awesome, man. It's going to be good stuff. Uh, he lives up in Nebraska, and uh, he's a motorcycle guy, man. So it ought to be interesting picking his brain on stuff. So it'll be a lot of fun. But um, don't forget that's tomorrow or on Sunday. I'm sorry, today's Friday, so uh, that will be on Sunday, probably some around the 12 o'clock lunchtime uh, when that's released and put out there. But, um, yeah, the 2021, the KTM Rally Replica, you know, it's getting a lot of buzz. I've seen it on ADV Pulse. I've seen it on uh, Facebook. A lot of guys, man, take my money, man. Take my money. It's like, eh, <laughs> be careful what you're asked for. It looks cool. It fits the part. It's definitely really pretty neat looking. It kind of looks like a Dakar bike uh, for the most part. I just, um, well, let's just get into it just a little bit. It really is, uh, it's a really, I mean, a rally replica. It, it looks cool. It definitely fits the part. Um, and they built it around the Dakar uh, rally team, you know, like Toby Price, um, Sam Sunderland, and all those other guys. If you don't know much about the Dakar rally, I'm not going to get into that. Uh, if you're into dual sport and adventure riding, you need to know about Dakar. You really do. So go check it out, Dakar.com, and uh, very neat stuff. And, and check out the history of it because it's very, very cool. But that's what this bike was built around are those Dakar Rally racers. And it's a 450cc bike. Uh, they won't really release the horsepower of it, but I know that the 2016 models were somewhere in that 68 horsepower, pushing almost 70 horsepower. So for a 450cc bike, that's pretty good. And not only that, uh, those bikes, for what they are, they're pushing just a little over 300 pounds total weight for those bikes uh for the rally bikes and this bike is it is a lot like a rally bike but if you're thinking this is going to be a dakar bike and you can go out and run the dakar uh, you might want to rethink that um they beefed up the suspension on it which is really cool um they did that uh, exact explore or whatever it is on there uh with a different type of ratio setting and it's supposedly it's the same setup as the actual rally racers um i i'm not going to sit there and say it's not from what i've read but i will say this i'll bet you dimes to dollars that it is not pretty much set up exactly like the rally ratios i mean the rally racers i just don't i just don't see it man um they're not going to let the cat out of the bike because they are doing this as a production bike for end users like myself i can get one you can get one uh, the frame is a chrome molly frame uh, in steel, and it's going to be super ultra lightweight for what it is, which is really pretty cool. Uh, what else? It's got uh, 16 liters of fuel, so that's a little over four gallons. Um, they changed the gearbox in it on the engine all the way around, so it has a completely whole revamped gearbox uh, versus the 450 say uh any other bike that they that they make 
what else? The exhaust is pretty well set up. I'm trying to go through this because I don't want to bore you, but I also want you to give you a little information on it. Uh, what is it, an Akravik um, exhaust on there? It's supposed to be actually set up and dialed in for that, motorcycle, that motorcycle specifically. Um, here's, the, here, here's what it all boils down to. They're only making 85 units. That's it, 85. How many people are on this planet? <laughs> there you go. That's it in a discussion. 85 units. And it's really a first come, first serve, you know, when you want to buy these things. So it's not like you just, you know, and, and the odds are, I'm not going to lie to you, it is basically going to boil down to who you know, and you already know what the biggest thing is going to be, money. So the 2021 Rally Replica from KTM, very cool, very neat. Lots of similar features that are the Dakar Rally racing bikes that the guys ride and win on, you know, in Dakar. But is it a Dakar Rally racing bike? No, it's not. And it's not going to make you a better rider. It's not going to, you know, it's really neat. It's one of those bikes that if you've just got more cash than you care to really talk about, go buy one. Because the MSRP on it, $29.9. So I don't know about you, but I don't have $29,900 to just go spend on a bike to make it feel like I'm a rally racer. <laughs> I'm not ever going to be a rally racer. I love bikes. I love them a 690. Uh, it's very cool. I love following it. But if you got a ton of dough and you've got the insight, go get one. 85 units. They start in September. But I can tell you right now, odds are you're probably not going to get one. They're going to go just like that. They're going to be instantaneously gone. But what I do suggest, you know what? Get a rally kit. Get a 690. The 690 only weighs 300 and about mm, 10 pounds, 315 pounds. You can put a rally kit on it. It's going to be a little heavier, but man, you can deck it out and make it look like that rally bike. You betcha. High fairing, LED lights in the front like it has, the whole nine yards, like you've seen the pictures on screen, and save, I don't know, about $15,000. So <laughs> maybe that's the route to go. Maybe a KTM 500 or a 690 and rally it out. Anyway, the 2021 uh, Rally 450, very cool, very neat. I think it's overpriced. I think it's neat. I think it's going to be for those novelty guys that are out there. What do you think? Put it down in the comments below and let me know. Is it something that if you really had $29,000, would you actually spend it on that bike? Me? Uh, I don't know. I think there's a lot of things I could do for $29,000. Hey, I'm Joe, 690 ADB. Thank you so much. Don't forget, hit that subscribe. Give us a thumb button. Hit the, give us a thumbs up. Be part of the channel. Don't forget, 690ADB.com. And uh, you know what? Be safe. Get out. Ride around. Do your social distancing. Do your part. Thank you so much. Enjoy your weekend. 690 out.